What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Demo Disrupt. I'm your host, Chris. Joining today is Cantor and James. And Cantor is going to be starting us off tonight with Demio, I believe is the name of this game. So, yeah, take it away, dude. All right, let's see A what happens. A typical game consists of three levels. On the first two, you must find the key and the exit gate. Okay. On the last one, you must defeat the boss and release the trapped elven spirits. If you get that far, uh -huh. we'll start with the basics. First, you need to know how to move around the catacombs. Use the WASD okay. buttons on your keyboard to move your view around the table. Now we'll try taking a closer look. Use the mouse scroll wheel to look good. For the last step, I'll teleport you back some. There you go. Now I'll teach you how to rotate. Right mouse click. Press and hold the right yeah. mouse button. Yep. Excellent. Standard control. Dragging, rotating, and zooming to find a good viewing angle is vital to this game. Vital, Cancer. Yeah, you gotta vital. make sure you notice everything. If you've got Let's the wrong the fucking your thing, you're fucked. What should I do? <laughs> what should I do? The highlighted tiles show uh -huh. how far you can move. Pick up your champion by pointing at it and pressing and hold. Drop your champion on this. Great. Each move with your champion counts as one action and costs one action point. Interacting with certain objects in the levels, such as doors, will move your champion to it and count as an action. Place your champion on the door to open it. The circle on the ground shows where your champion will land. Good job. Nice. Since that was your second action, you're now out of action points. You have two action points each turn. Check how many you have left on the turn meter, where you can also see whose turn it is now and who's next. Now, it's the enemy's turn. All right, the monster's <laughs> rough. Enemies yeah, can damage, 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 damage to your champion when they get close and attack. Right. Hover over a champion or enemy to display their health. You can see that you took one damage from that rat. Time for some payback. Attack the rat by placing your chat. Throw the die by pressing and holding the left mouse button to pick it up. Move and then release to throw. I think you get to attack. What Good was job. the point in throwing the, <laughs> the die? Has three I know, it was all swords, yeah. A sword means a hit. <laughs> a double sword means a critical hit. Mm -hmm. uh, and a skull uh, means you've missed. Gotcha. So that one, that one was scripted to all have swords, but nice. They won't all be. That Let's way. move on. Or Open so the next door like to a continue. Sword or a skull with a sword through it, and it's like this <laughs> means you just die. <laughs> that would the be so bad. Oh. Okay. Where did oh, you come from? That. An enemy was hiding in the shadows. Yeah. You have been poisoned from its attack. Great. Whenever you are hit by a status effect, an ice status. will appear above your champion. Attack the enemy now. Remember, yeah, sounds like a good plan. You throw the die by picking it up mm -hmm. using the left mouse button. Jeez, Not quite enough. No, no. Have another go. <laughs> Have another go. Oh yeah, because you get two actions a turn. That seems kind of cheap. Well done. Got it. But you're getting low on health. We should find a way to restore it. Mm -hmm. Glowing markers indicate a POI, points of interest, often worth investigating. Move over here to reveal these points of interest. What's the point in calling it a POI if you're just gonna fucking use point of interest anyway? This is a chest. True. It contains useful cards. Ooh, cards, you say? Cards? Open mm. the chest by dropping your champion on top of it. Take okay. a closer look at your new card. The description Ooh. tells you what it does. That's pretty good. Seven health back. The action points yeah, I actually missed out, the James. The, the last card game Cancer played was actually good one. Needed to play it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was actually a fun one. I was like, damn, I might even pick this up, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Grab the card with your left mouse. Uh, I get that. <laughs> that should keep you alive a bit longer, I hope. A new enemy has spawned. Oh. Since you only have one action point left, you can't reach it this time. Open the next chest instead. Maybe there's you. something inside that you can use. Yeah, let's get closer so he has an easier time hitting us, I agree. Okay, 
monster type. Oh, what is next? That is a replenishable <laughs> card. You can use it once, and then it will refresh for your next turn. Oh, that's sweet. Pick up Zap and use it on the enemy. Pick up and throw the die by using the left mouse button. Your Zap stun the goblin. Pretty now, sure you're hacking. Use your second action <laughs> point to do a melee attack. Oh. There we go. You can see now. And uh, another roll that I can't see because this view is a little small, honestly. God. Perfect. When you vanquish enemies, you gain card energy. Check your card meter on the bottom right of your screen to see your card energy. Yeah. That's fine. Defeating okay. those enemies was enough to fill up the card meter, giving you a new class card. Nice. So 10 normal attack, 20 on a crit, and it's a 3x3 three three area. Very much like classic D&D I'll join in with my champion now, just to give you a hat. Oh shit. A champion is down when their health reaches zero. Mm -hmm. Revive an ally by placing your champion. Death will have to wait. Allies are crucial for surviving each adventure. Take good care of them. Okay. Healing fountains will replenish the health of you and your allies. It might be helpful in the upcoming fight. See the exit over there. You need a key to unlock it. Every game of Demio generally consists of three levels. On the first two, you must find a specific item to be able to exit the gate. On the last level, you must defeat a sinister boss that carries a valuable she token. She just or said key. this, Once and this time uh -huh. saying it, she changed what she said. First time she said you had to find a key. This time she said you had to find an item. Unless it's like normally right. you have to fight a boss. It's just like you have to fight hold. a sinister boss. Let's see what you've learned. <laughs> this enemy holds the key. This game is terrible. Defeat it, and the key is yours. Defeat the enemy to obtain the key. Yeah, yeah I know. Anna. Fire. I can't see it. You must destroy oh, it. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> You're ready to face whatever might come at you. Will you prove strong enough to defeat the corrupted souls awaiting during the journey? I guess no, we'll see. Finish the tutorial by placing your champion on the exit. Wow. Tutorial's done. Yo, is it really? That was a tutorial. Can you click on join multiplayer real quick? No. Oh, damn. Never mind. Back up. Wow, dude, like... that. Those two characters, the one on the right and the one in the middle, look fucking cool as shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to see that picture, but... Okay. Alright, well, there you go. That's, uh... That's that one. That was fun. So, yeah. Cancer, what'd you think? <laughs> Since you played it, you start off. Well, I mean, it it felt good. The sound is good to it. Uh, that was a very small tutorial, but I like the cards, the action system. Uh, probably has some potential. I may look more into it, honestly, because it's like a tabletop RPG, and you got cards to collect, too. So it's two, two things I like. So you would play this, is what you're saying? Yeah. If you so now saying that you would play this, how much would you buy it for? What's your mm. what's your what's your limit for it to be My like limit? not worth it? Um, I'd say twenty bucks. Twenty bucks? Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's a little high for me personally, but I could see it. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I like kind of this RPG shit, especially with like the dice and stuff. It definitely reminds me of D and D, which I'm big on. I mean, the card aspect not so much, but I could definitely get over it. It's not like it would yeah. fucking kill it for me. And if like your characters could end up looking like that, that'd be kind of cool to see. Um. But yeah, I probably wouldn't spend more than like five dollars on this game personally. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. definitely in that five dollar range for me, James. It's a hot pass uh, for James. <laughs> look, see, look, I'm about to surprise you, but Ooh. only because. It says multiplayer right there, so uh -huh. you can get a group of people and have, mm. you know, your own characters going around and doing everything That's together. Fair. I feel like it would be a lot better than just doing it, you know, solo the whole time. That's fair. So, for me, this demo is kind of like being on a diet going to a carnival, right? So you can, like, smell all the good food and you got, like, a little bit of taste, but you can't have it. Like, this demo didn't give enough... I don't know, like... I don't... I don't there's no way that that is... The only aspects to this game, right? There's no way that you just find chests, get keys, and, and move on. I, I, may, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but 
I don't feel like they did a lengthy enough demo. I liked it. Like I said, I like it more because it's multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, $10. I would, do, I would do $10 on it only because the multiplayer aspect. That's fair. Well, there you go. So, you yeah, heard it here first, folks. I guess as we go actually look at it, stamp of approval means that you would actually recommend somebody else. Cancer, yes, no, stamp of approval. Oh, James, yeah, yes, sure. no, stamp of approval. I will. All right. Uh, fuck it. I'll go yes to. Why not? Fuck it. I won't, I, won't, I won't fuck up the motion here. So this one got the dead funny stamp of approval. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you like and you comment below. Let us know your thoughts and views or if you're going to pick it up, if you're not going to pick it up. And also some options for us to try out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next time.